Changes to the Earth's surface can happen because of weathering, erosion, and deposition. In this video guide, we'll take a look at the differences between those three. Weathering, as you can see here on the left, when we begin with a larger rock formation, say a mountain or canyons, um, in this case a hill, there's different elements and forces that can cause the surface of that rock to change. For example, wind, water, ice, and sand can beat against the hill or the canyon or the mountain or any other kind of uh, land formation that we have and weather it down or break it down. Also, the existence of plants um, oftentimes can break down over time the rock into a uh, soil and sediment. Also the pull of gravity, a force pulling things down to the center of the earth can cause a change in the outside formation and features of rocks as well as chemical weathering. So when we have dissolved minerals or other kind of chemicals even like acid rain can cause the breaking down of rock. Over time, and we're talking days to thousands of years to millions of years, it takes a very, very, very long time, but it's small little incremental changes every day over those thousands to millions of years that we get a smaller rock formation. So the canyon is now wider because the sides have been worn down or a mountain or a hill that's now a smaller, a great example would be like the hoodoos or the arches in Moab or Zions where uh, there used to be larger rock formations that are now like these tiny little steeples. And here are some of the elements and forces that can cause erosion being different than weathering. Erosion can happen by wind, water, ice, and gravity. So what happens here is all of the little sediments that had been broken down from the larger rock formation by these elements and forces, wind, water, ice, and gravity, carry away the sediment that's been weathered down. So erosion means to be carried away. It does not mean to break down. Weathering means to break down. Erosion means to carry away. And as you can see here is that smaller rock formation after all of this sediment has been carried away. Let's look a little bit more about gravity. We just had an example of a landslide here in Utah just a couple weeks ago. Uh, landslides are caused by gravity and mudslides are caused by gravity and water. So as you can see here in this picture, there's like some tension cracks where there's that pull of gravity. That's where gravity is really putting the most pressure and pull down to the center of the earth. And because of it, this land will slide down and we get all this debris and sometimes even blocking. Here's you can see an example of a mudslide. There's lots of heavy uh, rain saturation, or in our case, uh, lots of snow that then is melted in, um, to groundwater. And that causes, again, this pull of gravity going down towards the center of the earth, causing the soil and the sediment and trees uh, to slide down. This acts on sloped hills and mountains. And gravity can cause weathering and erosion to happen at the same time. So as we can see here, it's being broken down and carried away due to the cause of gravity and often in the additional help of force and pressure from the water. So just to review, erosion is the movement of sediment by water, wind, ice, or a glacier, and gravity. Deposition, that third key term that we want to to know is where that sediment is eventually dropped, deposited, or settled out. So erosion's carrying it away and then it deposits somewhere. And later on in this unit you'll do an activity where you identify 
if it's erosion, deposition, or weathering, something being dropped, broken down, or carried. And that's a great identifying question. Just like as we were looking at minerals, do we ask, you know, is it solid? Is it non-living? Okay, is it found in nature? These are great identifying questions to determine if it's weathering, erosion, or deposition because I don't want you to be confused. So if it's being broken down, weathering. Is it being carried away? Erosion. Is it being dropped off? Deposition. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.